Your right to trial by jury is on trial at the Supreme Court. Hello, I'm Steve Forbes, and this is What's Ahead, where you get the insights you need to better navigate these turbulent times. Trial by jury is a bedrock right of the Constitution, and not only for criminal cases, but also for certain civil cases, as guaranteed in the Constitution's Seventh Amendment. But over the years, this fundamental guarantee has been eroded on the civil side by the rise of various government agencies, like the Federal Trade Commission or the Environmental Protection Agency. They determine cases inside the agencies themselves. They are judge, jury, prosecutor, all rolled into one. Agencies themselves appoint in-house administrative law judges. No surprise, the defendants have about as much chance of acquittal in these in-house courts as a defendant in Putin's Russia or Xi Jinping's China. The normal rules of due process go out the window within these bureaucracies with unfavorable evidentiary rules and fewer discovery opportunities. The kangaroo court-like procedures at the SEC, for example, have allowed hearsay evidence and the introduction of unauthenticated documents. Getting an adverse decision from these bureaucracies into the federal courts is difficult expensive, and time-consuming. Talk about a stacked deck. On their face, these often arbitrary bureaucratic trials go against both the spirit and the letter of the Constitution. Fortunately, the Supreme Court will soon be ruling on a case, the SEC versus Jarchese, that will determine the constitutionality of the SEC's in-house court system. Since a number of other agencies have similar kangaroo court-like arrangements, The High Court's decision here will have an enormous impact on the constitutional legality of these arrangements. In this case, the defendant was accused by the SEC for fraudulently inflating the value of his hedge fund assets so that he could pocket higher management fees. An SEC administrative law judge ruled against Jarchese. He ended up with fines totaling $1.72 million and was barred from the securities industry. He then appealed to a federal appeals court on the grounds that the SEC's in-house court system was unconstitutional under the Seventh Amendment's guarantee of a trial by jury in certain civil cases. For good measure, he threw in several other constitutional challenges, including the Constitution's separation of powers doctrine. The appeals court ruled in his favor on all counts. Now, this critical matter is in the hands of the Supreme Court. It will have the opportunity to sharply curb the massive growth of these executive agencies, which together are called the administrative state. The administrative state is an insult to the intent of the founders, who created the Constitution with the purpose of preventing government bodies from exercising unaccountable powers. I'm Steve Forbes. Thanks for listening. Do send in your comments and suggestions. I look forward to being with you soon again. (music) 